Hey everyone, we're here at Anderson Pens with Mr. Anderson himself. Hello. How, how are you? Fantastic. I've asked Brian to show me his top five pens under two hundred dollars. There's a caveat. It's really between one hundred and two hundred dollars because under two hundred is far too many choices. Yes. So we narrowed it down, and it was still difficult for him to come up with five. I don't know what his five are, but I've chosen for him. Justin will show you what I think he's going to choose, and I think I know you. Do you? Yeah, I think so. We'll see how I do. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. So in no particular order, I think. Okay. Yeah, no particular okay. order. Uh, what's your first pen? My first pen should be of no surprise that to those that know me. No surprise. The whatsoever. Sailor 1911 Standard. Yeah, that's exactly um, what I chose for you. I love this pen. Uh, there's also the Pro Gear fits in that price point, but I have a little bit larger hands, so I like the 1911 Standard. It has just a hair, a little bit extra length uh, on the finials. And uh, I like the I like the length of it. Fourteen karat gold nib, cartridge converter. And uh, what nibs come in a standard? You, standard, you get your choice of any of the seven standard nibs: extra All fine, seven. fine, medium fine, medium broad, zoomer music. Because in this price range, a, a sailor is well, there's the nineteen eleven standard, and the, I think the Pro Gear Slim. Pro Gear Slim, yes. Uh, and either of those come with any seven of those. Yes, yes. And if you choose like the Zoom or the music, there's no upcharge. There's no extra charge, okay. yeah. So, yeah. That's, so that's the, that, that's a good reason. Choice. Yeah, yes. yeah. So. Okay. So far, so good. Next up. Obviously. Obviously, Lamy 2000. Has to be in every collection. It, it, it's, it's one of the most recommended, you know, step-up pens, as it were. Uh, I like it for a number of reasons. The Macrolon finish is different. Uh, of course, it is the flagship uh, uh, Lamy pen, so it has a piston filler. With uh, a beautifully designed uh, piston. You can barely see that it's there. Yes, you can or barely the, see it. The, the blind cap, right? Yep, it's yeah, the blind cap. You can't mm -hmm. see where that seam is. Um, we've got an ink window, which is... It's there. It's sort it's of there. there. It's not super usable, I wouldn't say. But you do have this lovely stainless steel uh, section, which is, is kind of ribbed a little bit, brushed, uh, and a 14 karat gold nib. Brushed is, yeah, but it, it sort of matches, I thought, yes. always the macrolon. Yeah, it has a little texture yeah. to it, so it's not it's super slippery. Beautiful pen to hold. Beautiful yep. pen to use. The cap, the cap is the cap is maybe one of the best. Uh, I do like any cap that has some kind of uh, ease of use of of, of pulling the clip up, um, and then of course it has that lovely little snap. Lamy, and Lamy it's a snap. slip cap. Slip cap. Yeah. I, I was just telling Lisa that I often will just pick up my Parker 51 because of the slip cap. Yep. It's so easy to use. Yep. And this is a classic, classic, classic. Yes. Yeah, it's been around basically unchanged for 50 60s. years. Yeah. Yeah. So, absolutely. That was really on my list. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one? Next one. No surprise no here. No surprise. No surprise here. Vanishing point. This time I have the full-size model. I have the blue carbonesque. Um, I love these. Uh, I've got one of these myself, in addition to a couple of the other models. Yeah, but Oh, you have a Carbonesque. I do have a blue Carbonesque. Say, you yep. have more than one Vanish. Yeah, I, I don't collect them. I have, they collect me. Um, but this is this is the best. Do you have more than three? Yes. A three is a collection. Yes. I've heard that from you. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on who you're talking to at the time. It's you. Lisa, eh, you know. Um, but uh, you, what's not to like about a retractable fountain pen? Uh, it's a cartridge converter. Um, just, just beautiful design. I never use the converter. I never use the converter. Yes, yeah, you, you can for those that, in, that that like to. You can, but I, I, I prefer on these. I prefer the cartridge. More ink capacity. Yeah, more ink capacity. Easier to see how much is in there because with the con with the converter in there, you don't see much. Nope. So, um, but fantastic pen, very handy. That's another pen that everybody needs. Yeah, you need to pull it out. I think everybody should have one or should at least try it once. Yes. Um, and if you don't like this, sometimes. Uh, people do like for the decimal better, which is also in that same price point. That was one of Lisa's. Yeah, type. yeah, yeah. But it's that Carbonesque is Carbonesque is so cool. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, three for three so far. <laughs> Next up, yep. Um, yeah, Mr. I, I knew you were going to pick that one. This is this is just a really good pen. Uh, what I like about it. Uh, the choice of uh, resins uh, that Estherbrook is using, Our they're gorgeous. beautiful. Beautiful. They're very reminiscent of uh, some vintage resin that you see. Fine, fine marbling par uh, particles, uh, different colors. And every SD has this, this cushion cap, a uh, little spring in the cap, which helps seal the section off from the nib so it won't resist, yeah. resist drying uh, on, out. On the... I recently purchased one, and yes. I had to ask you, what is that little cushy in there? Yep, <laughs> and it's yep. A, it sort of makes a seal around the nib. Yep. 
Sort of is. similar to the, the Platinum yes. uh, Slip and Seal so Cap. It's and, always ready to write. Yep. And they're really a nice design. Yes. I like the shape and uh, the materials that they're using, the designs of the acrylics. It's a good size. Uh, they do post. Um, uh, something of interest to you pr is probably that adapter. Yes, so you can get the what they call the MV, the Modern to Vintage Adapter. Uh, it's a black adapter, so it goes with Basically everything. replaces the section. Replaces the section, and then you can put in your vintage Esterbrook nib in here. So if Do you have any a, of those? Uh, I might have a few <laughs> in my collection, but if you've got your favorite, you know, 2968 or 9284 or, you know, 9788, right it'll fit no. right in there, and then you can use the cartridge or the converter with that vintage with that. nib. The MV adapter it doesn't come in the same... It's all black. No, it's all black. They, yeah. Are, yeah, a, it's they all don't black. make them available in the same acrylic. Yeah, that would be, that would be nuts if they did that. Yeah. But uh, they do, and uh, most of them come in silver or gold trim. Uh, really, really nice pen. Beautiful pen. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I got all five. Well, I have a fifth one. All right. This is number five. Let's see I if I got all five. Uh, this one, maybe maybe a little surprise. Uh, this is the, the Y Studio Classic. I, I, can't even, I can't even act like I guessed that. <laughs> You know, if I was going to be on an island, this, you know, this, well, if I was on an island, I probably wouldn't have an office and a desk, but this is a solid pen. This is a really cool uh, copper barrel, nice length. Uh, they have actually very nice nibs. The, uh, the base is nice and weighted and it seals. So this, it's very heavy. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's not going to This is basically the cap desk. of the pen, right? Yes. It sits on yeah, your desk. So then it just, it sits in there oh. and you can feel it. Yeah. I remember when these, the place. we had them on the podcast and, mm -hmm. and. Very, very interesting. I did not, would never have guessed this was one of your top five. Yes, yes. Um, but that is very convenient, is especially, well, I mean, a slip cap is what I reach for all the time. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just mm -hmm. reach for the pen? Right, right. Uh, and that is a nice pen. And it's a good modern desk pen. There's not very many modern desk pens. Uh, and this one is a really, really solid choice. Good so. choice. Good, good choice. I, I really like, like this I one. Say, it's though. very... I, I like did not see that one coming. Yeah, I like the length. It's, it's you know, obviously it doesn't have a cap, but it's perfect length. It has nice balance. Um, steel cartridge nib. converter. Cartridge okay. converter, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I might have to check that one out myself. So how did I do? Uh, I didn't get them all right because I didn't see the Y Studio coming. <laughs> I, I knew you had to pick a sailor. Yes. yes. And I knew it was had to be under 200, but I, I kind of thought, I knew you liked that color too, but I kind of thought you'd go for the uh, Pro Gear Slim with the rhodium trim. Yes, because yeah. It's black and rhodium trim. It's just a beautiful pen. Uh, and I knew the Lamy 2000 and the Vanishing Point. Uh, I thought you might choose a Pilot Custom 74. Yep, yeah, it's a good choice too. Because they're very nice. I was trying to keep one pen per brand. Others would be too easy to say, well, it's, you know, you could pick all Pilot. You really could, you know. And I thought you might go for a Penlux Masterpiece because they're Hefty, yes. You like hefty, yeah. Cigar shape and big, uh, big girth filler. piston filler. Um, it's a but nice you, pen you've too. You made excellent choices here. I would, excellent I would choices. hope so. It, it, it was, it was a tougher assignment than uh, than I expected. Yes, I, I had to tell him you're, you can have, you have to be able to live with these pens for twelve months and use no other pens, and that's what finally made you. I would, I would be very happy with these. Yeah, you'd be happy. I'd be happy with these. I don't know which one I would choose if I, I probably allow me two thousand. Of these, if I could only have one, mm -hmm. it would be the Lamy 2000. And these are also available in those uh, oblique nibs, too. So oblique medium, oblique broad, and oblique double broad. So Plus, they're available in pencil. Uh, yes. Ballpoint. Two pencils. Two pencils, a ballpoint, and uh, the multi pen, the multi -pen. and a rollerball. And a rollerball. And in stainless. So. And a stainless one. But they wouldn't yep. fit in this category. Yeah, they wouldn't fit in this category. But they're gorgeous. <laughs> they're gorgeous. What's that over there? So I have one more. That's not allowed. This is this is this is uh, um, this is an add-on. Okay. Uh, so, but wait. There's but wait, more. there's more. Um, under under two hundred. You know, it's a super value. Any of these vintage Japanese that we. we oh come yes, out you're with. doing a vintage mailer once a month. Yes. With quite a few vintage, mostly Japanese. Yes. Mostly under two hundred dollars, and all of them. So very tempting. They're, they're so cool to look at. You know, this one here, I happen to have one of my favorites. I always talk about the butterfly. But it, it's just such a nice pen. It's, uh, you know, 14 karat solid gold nib. Uh, these are cartridge pens. Uh, beautiful designs on them, different colors. Um, they're, just, they're just fantastic. And it's a, a really a good option. a large variety of, to choose from. Yes. And that mailer comes out, uh, I think, on the last Friday of every yes. month. Yes. Right. Yeah, that's under 200. 
You could make a collection just of those. You could, yes. Very affordable. Uh, especially if you like vintage pens. Yep. But you kind of like vintage pens. I've been known to buy a few. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brian. You're welcome. See you next time. Bye.